Hello, my name is Professor Russell Boyce and I'm honoured to be leading the Australian bid for COSPAR 2020. I'm the Chair for Space Engineering, despite being a physicist, at the Canberra campus of the University of New South Wales, where I lead a large team developing space mission capability for in-orbit space science and technology, supported by rigorous ground-based research. I'm also the Chair of the Australian Academy of Sciences National Committee for Space and Radio Science. Space research to help meet current and future challenges is a pressing global need. Space-related activity in the Southeast Asian region is rapidly accelerating, and building on a long and proud heritage, Australia is an increasingly energetic player. Fifty years on from the most recent COSPAR scientific assembly in the Southern Hemisphere, our nation and our region offer huge opportunity for local and international space research to build new knowledge, to drive innovation and to inspire future generations. The time is right to host COSPAR in Australia, bringing the world together to stimulate space research for global impact. The Australian Academy of Science, with support and financial underwriting from the University of New South Wales, and with the endorsement and support of government, the research sector and space-related industry across Australia and indeed across the world, invites COSPAR to hold its 43rd Scientific Assembly in 2020 in the beautiful city of Sydney, Australia. Please join with me for the next 20 minutes as I describe to you the opportunity to bring the international space research community together in a country and region of enormous importance and opportunity for space research and innovation. Allow me to walk you through the various elements of our proposal, addressing the six mandatory criteria for hosting COSPAR scientific assemblies. I'll be assisted along the way by some key figures in the Australian context. Together, we'll present the case for COSPAR Sydney 2020. Australia proposes to hold COSPAR 2020 during our National Science Week, from Saturday the 15th to Sunday the 23rd of August 2020. Science Week is a period of quite some importance across Australia each year, with many, many activities and opportunities designed to bring science to the public and inspire young and old alike. This will provide a wonderful opportunity to promote space science and research to the general public. With Australia's National Science and Technology Centre, also known as Questacon, we plan to develop a major space research exhibit that will be featured at the Assembly before travelling on a roadshow across the country. We also plan a web-based citizen science opportunity to truly engage not just the Australian, but also the world community and immerse them into the world of space research. Please note though, Australia is flexible. We're quite happy to work with COSPAR if alternative dates in July are more suitable for international travellers. Accordingly, the venue is booked for both options, including the last week of July. Speaking of the venue, the image you see is the new International Convention Centre Sydney, right on Sydney Harbour within the heart of Sydney's central business district. It opens later this year and exceeds COSPAR requirements in every way, but we'll dig into that a little later in this presentation. Let's step back for a bit first. What is the case, the science and technology case, for bringing COSPAR 2020 to Sydney, Australia? Allow me to turn to some of my fellow Australians. Hello, I'm Glenis Beecham, Secretary of the Australian Government Department of Industry, Innovation and Science. Australia has a long and proud history of engagement in global space research. We have an intimate relationship with space and critically depend on space-derived data for communications, position navigation and timing, Earth observations and much more. Our support for Earth observing systems and our large geographic footprint enables Australia to contribute to rich sources of geophysical data. The Australian Academy of Science welcomes you to Australia. The Academy champions excellence in science, both at home and abroad. Specifically, the Academy supports Australia's space research efforts through activities such as the National Committee for Space and Radio Science. Our science community is tight-knit and it continues to reach beyond our shores to our international colleagues, working alongside them to drive new ideas and to promote areas of space research. The Academy's had a long-standing link with COSPAR through the National Committee, and this provides wonderful opportunities to promote Australia's space research community in collaborations abroad. It gives me great pleasure, as President of the Australian Academy of Science, to invite you to hold the 2020 COSPAR Scientific Assembly in Sydney, Australia. The Australian Centre for Astrobiology is one of only two associate members of the NASA Astrobiology Institute. We are extremely fortunate that our strong and dedicated space science community has this facility headquartered right here in Sydney. 
The space science work being conducted here in Australia is fascinating. Some of our work includes world-leading interdisciplinary research into the origin and evolution of life on Earth, across the solar system and throughout the universe. Australia has always been an early participant in space research and is now celebrating over 50 years of relationships with NASA and ESA. These giant dishes at the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex, operated for NASA by Australia's CSIRO, are responsible for receiving much of the data and images from humanity's exploration of the solar system and beyond, including the past moon landings, deep space telescopes, Mars exploration and the recent fly past Pluto. Australia has long been a developer of sophisticated instrumentation for space missions. We've been accelerating our engagement in the current transformation of space technologies towards more robust networks of miniature satellites. These activities enable further innovation and discoveries in research and education, not only here in Australia, but around the world. Australia is continuing to gather momentum in space research and development capability. We've provided multiple contributions to the international QB50 CubeSat program. We have also established a number of professional university and government agency-based space mission programs. We come to the table with a bold vision for our nation's place in science, and through science, our place in space. As Australia's Chief Scientist, I'm proud to share in that agenda and excited to share it with the world. I wholeheartedly support Australia's bid to host Coast Bar 2020, and I can confidently say that Australia will more than match your expectations. Australia has the facilities, the capabilities and the expertise to be a memorable host. I do hope to see you under the Southern Stars in 2020. Welcome to Sydney! The proposed local organising committee consists of nine prominent figures in the Australian space research landscape. It will be chaired by myself in the role of local chair of COSPAR 2020 Sydney. Closely supporting me in alphabetical order are Dr Miriam Boltock, whom you know well. She's a member of the COSPAR Science Advisory Committee, formerly ran the CSIRO Deep Space Communications Complex for NASA, and prior to that was the NASA attaché at the US Embassy in Australia. Mr Brett Biddington, who brings his wealth of experience as CEO of the local organisation of IAC 2017, being held in Adelaide next year. Professor Eva Cairns from the University of Sydney, whom you also know well, is Australian National COSPAR Delegate, former Chair of the National Committee for Space Science, and lead author of our current Decadal Plan for Australian Space Science. Associate Professor Graziella Caparelli from University of South Australia is a leading member of Australia's planetary science community. Dr Phil Crosby is a key member of CSIRO Astronomy and Space Science, in particular with respect to management of aspects of the Square Kilometre Array program. Professor Trevor Ireland from the Australian National University is a leading planetary geologist and part of the science teams for the Japanese Hayabusa asteroid sample return missions, including playing a key role in liaisons with the Australian Government for the landing of Hayabusa in Woomera. Professor Fred Menck from the University of Newcastle is one of the world's authorities on magnetospheric physics and has extensive management and administrative experience. Finally, Professor Martin Van Cranendonk from the University of New South Wales is the director of the Australian Centre for Astrobiology. This team provides a significant breadth and depth of both scientific and management experience in the Australian context and will bring these skills and experience to what will be an outstanding local organising committee. If Sydney is selected as the site for COSPAR 2020, we propose Professor Eva Cairns as the chair of the International Program Committee. As mentioned before, Professor Cairns is well known to COSPAR, has had a long and distinguished career in both research and leadership capacities in Australian and international space science, would make an outstanding chair for that committee and Australia would be honoured if his nomination were to be accepted. As an innovative approach to support the work of the International Program Committee, we propose a local program liaison committee comprised of Australian-based scientists relevant to one or more of each of the COSPAR scientific commissions. The program liaison committee will be able to provide direct advice and lines of communication as needed between the International Program Committee and the full Australian space research community. As Chair of the International Program Committee, Professor Cairns will logically also chair the Local Program Liaison Committee and provide input particularly relevant to Commissions D and E. Dr Arnold Decker from CSIRO, a world leader in the use of space-based remote sensing for marine systems research, will provide input for Commission A. For Commission B, we propose Professor Trevor Ireland from ANU, Professor Ian Reid from University of Adelaide, 
an authority in upper atmosphere radar sensing, will give input for Commission C, while Professor Fred Menck from Newcastle will do likewise for Commissions C and D. Professor Martin van Krannenonk from UNSW is our proposal for supporting Commission F. Commission G will be assisted by the material scientist Professor Michael Ferry from UNSW, while Professor Mike Tobar from University of Western Australia, with his expertise in precision metrology, will support Commission H. Business Events Sydney, New South Wales' not-for-profit convention bureau, has played a critical role in supporting this bid, assisting in liaising with and obtaining the support of the Convention Centre, professional conference organisers for budget preparations, Qantas and the New South Wales State Government. They will continue this support all the way to the conclusion of COSPAR 2020 Sydney. We understand that ZAM is COSPAR's long-term professional conference organiser. If the bid is successful, BES will help the local organising committee tender for a local PCO to assist ZAM with some local arrangements, where appropriate, and as agreed with ZAM and COSPAR. For example, the local PCO can assist ZAM with handling registration, accommodation, and on-site organisational matters. Having local knowledge and relationships, and a solid track record in attracting international delegates to conferences in Australia, the local PCO will assist with promoting the event, facilitate introductions to potential sponsors, local media and government, and help navigate the local taxation system. We've worked hard with BES and a local professional conference organiser to develop a budget that maintains registration fees at the same level that applied this year for COSPAR 2016, while ensuring prudent financial management for the success of the Assembly and a significant financial return to COSPAR. Holding COSPAR 2020 in Sydney will generate enormous excitement from the global space research community. We fully expect at least 2,500 delegates to attend and are confident of reaching 3,000, as has been common in many recent assemblies. Thus, we've been able to budget for a guaranteed financial return to COSPAR of €275,000, a contribution to the COSPAR Grants Program of €35,000, and an additional €100 Euro for every delegate beyond 2500 That's a total return to COSPAR of €360,000 if we achieve 3,000 delegates. Any financial surplus achieved will be firstly used as contingency funds for the event, and then to support space research in Australia in the years to come. Australia is fully compliant with ICSU's rules on the free movement and association of scientists, including their participation at international scientific meetings. Australia does not exclude access by any travellers on the basis of nationality or country of origin. We also have a world-class visa processing system with few travel and visa restrictions for delegates wishing to enter the country. The Australian bid has received numerous support from the Australian Government, including from Australia's Minister for Industry, Innovation and Science on behalf of whole of government and from our Chief Scientist, our peak space industry body, the Space Industry Association of Australia, and many of Australia's world-class universities, research organisations and local industry. We already have the promise of significant financial support from the New South Wales State Government, and Qantas will be the official partner airline for the event and offer substantial discounts for delegates and accompanying persons. Furthermore, the Minister for Industry, Innovation and Science has invited us to return to his office to request financial support should our bid be successful. It's time to give you some insight into what you'll find when you arrive at the International Convention Centre Sydney in 2020. Sydney is a major international airline hub and is easily accessible from anywhere. We're also uniquely located for collaboration, only 11 hours flying distance from half of the world's population. The new conference venue, the International Convention Centre Sydney, sits right at the heart of the city and is only five miles or 20 minutes drive from Sydney Airport. The venue sits alongside the harbour and within minutes of our beaches and iconic attractions such as the Sydney Opera House and Harbour Bridge. There are a wide range of nearby food and accommodation options for people on all budgets and all palettes and cultural diversity. Our city offers a safe environment for visitors, enjoys an international reputation as a low risk destination and will provide for one of the best scientific assemblies that COSPAR will ever see. Welcome to International Convention Centre Sydney, Australia's premier convention, exhibition and entertainment precinct. ICC Sydney sets a new standard and paradigm in delivering with limitless potential and infinite possibilities. A celebration of clever design, this flexible precinct is built to welcome the greatest minds and most prestigious business events the world has to offer. 
hosting everything from full-scale conventions and exhibitions to entertainment performances and celebrations, corporate meetings and small gatherings. Opening in December 2016, ICC Sydney invites you to experience world class. Let's take a closer look at the Convention Centre. Delegates will enter on the ground floor off the Darling Harbour precinct and into the entry foyer and registration area. Ascending to level two, delegates will reach the location of the gallery and gallery foyer, where we will hold coffee breaks, poster sessions and provide exhibition space. Level two is also the first access into the 2,500 seat Darling Harbour Theatre, where the opening session and awards ceremony, as well as plenaries, will be held. The Darling Harbour Theatre can also be accessed from levels three and four. If we exceed 2,500 delegates, we will stream proceedings via high definition video to one or both of the two large Cockle Bay breakout theatres. On levels three and four, delegates can access the 25 planned breakout session rooms in both the convention centre shown in blue and the exhibition centre shown in green. Several additional rooms are available if necessary, bringing the total available to over 30. ICC Sydney provides in one location the required number and capacity of theatres and rooms for COSPAR 2020. On level five, delegates reach the Grand Ballroom and its foyer. We are able to host up to 3,600 people in this area for the COSPAR 2020 Welcome Cocktail Reception to be held immediately after the opening ceremony on the Monday evening. Accompanying persons will join COSPAR delegates and invited VIPs and guests to combine fantastic Australian food, wine and company with stunning views over the Sydney skyline and harbour. The LOC is also planning to hold a second, more informal reception for all delegates and accompanying persons. This will be a celebration of COSPAR 2020 on the Friday evening towards the end of the assembly. The evening will include local live music and offer delegates the chance to unwind and even let their hair down. During the week, in addition to the two main receptions, we are proposing three smaller receptions at notable destinations on or around Sydney Harbour. The first for the COSPAR Council, assembly organisers and staff and invited local dignitaries will be sponsored by the Australian Academy of Science and UNSW and planned to be held at the restaurant at the Sydney Opera House. The second, also for Coast Bar Council and other important personalities, will be sponsored by the largest financial sponsor of Coast Bar 2020 and held on historic Fort Denison with stunning views of the harbour. The third is intended to be a networking event for young scientists, engineers and students, will be sponsored by their Australian hosts, the Australian Youth Aerospace Association, and plan to be held at the Powerhouse Museum where our STEM outreach, Mars Yard, is hosted. In Sydney, before, after and during the assembly, delegates can enjoy some of the world's best beaches, beautiful weather, exciting entertainment and touring options. We will work with BES and the local professional conference organiser to secure discounted rates for weekend, weekday and evening attractions such as the Harbour Bridge Climb, Harbour Cruises, theme parks and one of the world's best zoos. Not only is Sydney a must-see destination, it provides a launching pad to scientific, technical, cultural and recreational experiences that no other country on the planet can provide. The bid document provides more details on these opportunities. As the presentation over the last 20 minutes is mapped out, supported by the details in the bid document, Australia's bid for COSPAR 2020 successfully meets all mandatory selection criteria. The proposal meets the eligibility criteria, our space research community is strong and growing stronger. The proposed venue is not just suitable for the assembly but is superb. There's ample high quality accommodation and catering to meet all budgets. Sydney is very accessible from abroad. And in this exciting part of the world where the assembly has not ever been before, Australia is representative of a preferred region for COSPAR. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to and read Australia's bid. We hope to welcome you in 2020, but for now, Let's finish with a little fun.